Oh, for various reasons. Um, the first one is that I really um, I've been passionate about knowledge sharing, and that's one thing that I've been doing back in India as well. And uh, and when you get a chance to come and meet the, some of the best people from about 64 countries, you can't let go of that opportunity, and that's why. To see what's going on in this Creative Commons environment, because you learn a lot of things here. From you pretty much get to know what's happening in the area of Commons this year, and what happened this year. And what will happen possibly the next year? You meet lots of other people, and uh, you're able to, to work with them. So that's the general one. Specifically, I came here as project lead from England and Wales. Because I'm Greek, but I live in the UK. So we have we had a number of uh, projects. I was doing a couple of projects. I was doing. And for some she said some activities, but I wanted to share uh, my research with the rest of the people. I'm part of uh, a media project called Global Voices, and uh, Global Voices is actually um, tightly connected to CC and iCommons. Yeah. Our content is all published under uh, CC license. I'm translating for Global Voices, uh, which is an international group of bloggers, and uh, I and Hanako, Hanako we do the um, Jap Japanese content, so we translate Japanese blogs into English. And uh, the whole Global Voices project is uh, on Creative Commons, so everything is Creative Commons licensed. So that there's that connection to iSummit. And then when I was looking at the iSummit information, there was nothing about translation on it. And since we're here, I thought, well, why don't we go there and you know, do a session on that? So we did a session about uh, open translation, which is basically we have this content and it's open, anybody can copy it, but it's not being translated. So you know, how can we start getting people to translate this kind of stuff? Uh, I was invited uh, because uh, I summit wanted to organize a panel on the Internet Bill of Rights, uh, a new idea of which I am one of the promoters, and so I was invited to speak at, uh, at the workshop. Mostly out of personal interest. I hope I'm going to be able to do something with my business as well, but for the moment being, um, I'm just, I wasn't too sure about what open, I'm here for open business. I followed the open business lab and wasn't, I wasn't too sure about what open business actually is. So I came here to find out and to try to define together with the others how we're going to move for the future in the open business field. My business is consulting and trading. I'm based in Shanghai, in China, and I help European companies to explore the Chinese market and to either sell their products or get products from China and start up projects. Because I get the sponsorship. <laughs> I'm a musician. I release in a Credit Commons license album for four years. Why did you decide to release your music with CC licenses? Uh, I think uh, some friend uh, asked me four years ago when uh, Credit Commons idea first jumped into Taiwan area. And uh, I think many people think this is a, a good kind idea. So maybe it's nothing to do with business money and uh, it got something to do with the kindness and the interest and the fun. So we have many many Credit Commons events and I almost take some responsibility for the music part. ま、I think the biggest highlight is, I would say, the people, um, and this is across any conference that I've been to, is that I think that um, the most interesting thing that happens is just meeting people, um, sharing your experiences, taking lessons from what other people have been doing successfully, um, and trying and getting back to India and implementing them. I think that's my biggest takeaway. Well, to meet face to face with a number of people will be corresponding the email first, and well, some of the keynotes were pretty good. I will ask a question about uh, CC is a confusion commons. Are we creating confusions 
because you know more and more uh, discussions coming around and uh, sometimes we we got to find some solution here and uh, I saw me last year this is I, I think is the first time maybe there will be another uh, 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 I summit next year, and the people come here to find some solution. But every time, I think we making more and more confusions, making more and more problems. We are troublemakers. And, uh, uh, one one sentence about I summit is a uh, confusion comes. Uh, the research track, basically. It's been very interesting. I've been meeting a lot of. Uh, great people, like you know, connecting all those people who are doing very, very interesting, interesting things. And, yeah, that's, I think that's what I've been enjoying the most. Uh, there were some really good um, of the, the plenary talks, the main talks. There was uh, one by Mohammed. Um, I forget his last name. Mohammed would give a talk about from, about Al Jazeera and open content, which I really like. That was the first day, and uh, he's actually uh, also is a member of Global Business, but I never met him before, so uh, that was really kind of interesting. But basically everything that's in the summit that's really practical and hands-on and concrete, I like, I'm really into And the stuff that's more abstract, I, I'm not really so interested in. So, um, I would say it was about half-half. Well, it, it was very hard for me to get into the into everything that was happening because there were so many things that were happening in such a short time. And so, uh, for me, the most interesting part, apart from our workshop, was our, uh, the keynotes. There were some very international keynotes with very some very new intellectual thinking. So they really made me think of new things and get back home with new ideas and new concepts. Uh,